just earned your first skill points. Click here to learn more. Okay, get rid of you. Pick up the map. Ever hear of Edrin Four? Jim Kirk got into a tussle with a Gorn there. Barely lived to tell the tale. Both the Gorn and the Federation have teams there now. I'd like you to back our new people up in case the Gorn decide to engage in a little cowboy diplomacy. Okay, so we'll accept Stay the Stay safe mission. out there. We'll go out. I'm actually going to uh, make some changes to Tarsi's um, Hello. image. Hello, you can alter your uniform and look here. Right. So we'll modify Tarsi. We can't actually change her name. Most of the other characters we can, or NPCs we can. Um, I am going to change the face shape a little, changing the color, and I'm going to change her hairstyle once I've No. No. I have in mind. I have something in mind, but I can't. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, we'll go with that. Right, so again we can alter her height, we can alter her, uh, her the way she stands, um, there's a variety, so I'm not keen on a good number of them. I'm going to leave her as standard. I might wind up changing some of the others. Right. And I also have got some kit that I've saved from another character. I'm going to import it into my inventory and I'm going to deploy some armor oh, not sure I wanted to do the uh, so we can pick up some armor for uh, for myself and for Tarsi. And some slightly better weaponry. isn't better yet. Right, so the sidearm is better but the uh, rifle is still the same and now we've, they've also both characters have got body armor on. So we'll beam out. Welcome to the Soul System. All visitors to Earth's space dock are required to fly close enough to the station for our tractor beams to lock onto your ship. Our automated systems will notify you when you are in position. 
Thank you. We're going to be leaving in a moment. We're just going to go purchase, use the skill points that we received. I'm going to put it, this, the space side skill, initially, you've got some, you've got choices. You can't go to the higher level skills, and you, before you can actually get to the more advanced skills, you've got to learn the basic skill. Um, so with three points, I could go straight up to that, but I've got one point. I'm going to go, this is space energy weapons, and I'm going to, so her space energy weapons is going now to be 25% more effective than they were before I clicked on that. And switch across the ground, and I'm going to get, again, being a tactical officer, not rather than a science or an engineering officer, I'm going to go with weapon, basic weapon proficiency, higher level initially. And uh, go with photon grenade, there's the choice. Right, so those are the skills, that's the character is now leveled up, and we are going to exit. This is Earth Space Dock. You're cleared to warp to sector space. Warp to sector space. So we are out in sector space and I'm going to click on the icon here beside the mission and set the ship off, auto route it to where it needs to go to. Higher levels potentially have got other options to how to get to where it needs to be but this point in time the ship has no alternative, it's a case of click and it auto routes. Right, let's get rid of this, and the easiest way of doing that is just to click through. So that's about the map and how to route the ship with maps. So the map is available with that button up here. This is sort of representing how the maps were presented on the original TV series. And um, yeah, when we When we join with the main, uh, then this style will be harder to get to see. But it's style; it's no, not content. Any, not any different. USS Cornishman. Now, I recommend. I can. I can. I can say that's a, a great name. That. No. So he's got the same type of ship as we have, but he's not put anything in his biography. Big deal. USS Iconia, uh, Ionia. And again, same goes with uh, this engineering officer, Nicole. Makes me think of a... Uh, uh, an advert for uh, Renault Clio's Nicole, Papa if that means nothing to you, Google it at this stage the ships are slow But the distances, thankfully, are uh, a lot shorter. Right, begin in the shadow of Cestus. We're reading several Gorn ships on our sensors as well as the USS Zhang Ha. The Zhang Ha is hailing us now. On screen. Welcome to Edron 4. I'm Bridget McKinnon, CO of the USS Zhang Ha. Glad you could join us. My science teams are on site and conducting initial surveys. Apparently, this place is quite the geological marvel. We're not the only ones present, though. Our friends from the Gorn hegemony aren't terribly chatty. 
but so far they're keeping the peace. How can we help, Captain? Well, I'm sure my people wouldn't mind an extra hand down there on the geological marvel. Feel free to join the party. Okay, I'll send a team to the surface then. Mickleberg out. Mickleberg out. Captain, the Gorn are scanning us. They might not be talkative, but they are curious about us. Orders? Maintain course, steady as she goes, help. I recommend caution when dealing with the Gorn. They can be easily provoked. We have entered the orbit of Edwin Transporter Cole, room to Captain. bridge. The geological team, supplies, and gear are ready to beam down to Edrin 4. Very good. Stand by for transport. Beam down the engineering Lowering team. shields for transport. I'm detecting some unusual energy signatures in orbital space near Edrin 4. Recommend we perform a deep scan of each. They could be hazardous. Agreed. Helm, bring us into sensor range. Perform orbital scan. Strange. For a moment there... What have you got? It's nothing, Captain. Thought I was picking up an impulse drive. Hello, Killian. Pulse alarm. I'll recalibrate the sensors. Don't want to be jumping at shadows here. How are you doing this morning? Very well, carry on. Captain, the science and engineering teams indicate that they have made it to the surface and made contact with the science team from the Shangha. The rest of the landing party is standing by in transporter room one. They're ready to beam down when you are. Energize. Right, so... There's my... Ah, there you are. Better late than never, huh? Ensign Skavrin, Starfleet Corps of Engineers. Lovely planet we've got here. Charming, even, if you're fond of heat and rocks. Still, it's not a complete wash. To say this place is mineral-rich would be an understatement. What's your background, Skavrin? My first assignment out of the Academy was on Vulcan, working at a geothermal power site in Shikar. Great people, the Vulcans. Good at arguments. Though all the logic comes off a little dry for my tastes. This is my first deep space assignment, and I'm damn glad for it. Hope we're going to travel to more than desert worlds, though. I hear Ryza's nice this time of year. So I hear. Glad to have you aboard, Ensign. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, Killian. It's uh, good that you dropped, dropped in the chat, and thank you for chatting, because that helps me big time. It's good to know that there's people out there and it's good to to interact my tricorder showing some interesting mineral formations beyond this ridge remind me are you a, a star trek online player yourself this looks like a good place to start our scans scanning the mineral formation nice to see a report was spot on for once the mineral deposits here are remarkably pure. Okay, moving on to the next point. Scanning the mineral formation. This carbon deposit is unusually pure. Apparently the Metrons don't prepare half-rate planets. Moving on to the next point. Scanning the mineral formation. Whoever gets the mineral rights to this planet will be pleased. Very pleased indeed. I think you're right there, Skaven. Right. Moving on again. My readings indicate there might be dilithium on this planet. I'll need to take more scans to be sure. Scanning the mineral formation again. The variety of minerals in the topsoil alone is astounding. It certainly looks interesting with all of the crystals and so on out of it. The soil here has a high concentration of sulfur. 
Either my tricord is broken, or the soil here has an amazingly high concentration of sulfur. My nose told me uh, that long before your tricorder ends. Phew. To the rifle. I was surprised it was on. Of course, it was on that because. Captain, this is Lieutenant Newman. One of the Gorn ships just exploded. They're blaming us and attacking our forces on the surface and in orbit. Captain McKinnon tried to explain, but they aren't responding to any hails. Go to red alert, Lieutenant. Way ahead of you, Captain. We're defending ourselves, and our shields are up, which means we can't beam you back to the ship. Afraid you're on your own for now. Understood. We'll find a way back. Over there. There might be a way out of this infernal canyon further down the valley. So, anybody who doesn't know, if you look up there on the site, um, if you look at the sighting now, there's two red dots on either side. That means the alternative mode is in range if Ensign Hunter doesn't stand in the way, but the normal one won't hit. Now, in this, with this rifle, it's a sniper rifle. It does extra damage on a slower rate uh, with this, so I'm going to go along with that, and I am going to snipe this guy. So I'm going to go with tell it to use more advanced aiming techniques, which is a tactical officer bonus. And adds now that the two side ones have gone, but the rest of the frame is back in, and. It, which means that uh, it's in ordinary range. We need a way out of this canyon, and I'm thinking that big rock up there is it. With a little Federation ingenuity, we can topple this rock with a makeshift bomb. Once it's down, we can walk across it and get back to camp before the Gorn use the Zhang Ha's science team as target practice. And where will we find this bomb, Ensign? Have you read Captain Kirk's report on this place? We have all the materials we need here to make bombs. They won't be pretty like me, but they'll get results. If you can collect the materials, Ensign Hunter and I will work out where to place the explosives. We're going to need at least three bamboo containers, sulfur, potassium nitrate, and coal. Let's do this. Behind us! Items from the container. Uh, 
out of range. Sure or not, though. Potassium nitrates pick up. And we've got some. Lead time on the sniper shot sometimes gets to be a bit of a pain. Like there, even though I've triggered a sniper shot, um, the character, the, the the target had been killed by my team before my shot landed. Oh, you move quickly. materials over to the bottom of that huge rock. Different weapons have different abilities. Right. Ensign Hunter and I will construct the bombs we need to bring down this rock across the canyon. That's the easy part. It's up to you to keep those angry Gorn off us while we work. Hope you're a good shot. Right, I've just switched to sidearm because it has a higher well, rate. At least um, the Gorn are punctual. Keep them off us. Crush that cold up good, Hunter. It has a higher Not DPS, like uh, a shorter range than um, the rifle. Careful with that! Potassium nitrate can react explosively with these materials! Now mix it with the coal! Carefully! I'd rather not get blown to pieces today, if you don't mind! We're just about done! Let's get these bombs in place. Hang on. That was a mishit of buttons. Well, now that Ensign Hunter and I did the hard work, it's time for you to pull your weight around here. We <laughs> need to place these you charges under the rock. Spread them out, though not too far. I'm sure you can figure out an optimal placement. Okay, so we pick double clicked again. Pick up charges. Nice charge. The bombs are primed to blow. We should move to a safe distance. Okay, let's move away. Well, take that, nature. Think your victory over Mother Nature will hold, Ensign? Absolutely. We should be able to climb that rock just fine. It's steep, but a minor obstacle for us nature conquerors. Just, uh, watch your step. Will do. So let's move out. I hope the scientists are all right. The Gorn aren't known for their mercy. The rock that we've just blown down. So well 
sort of path. Uh, I think uh, Ensign Scaven did a, such a fantastic job there. Looks like some Gorn came through here. We better hurry. Thank you. Things were looking pretty grim there for a moment. The Gorn. They kept saying the deaths of their people would be avenged, but we didn't do anything. I haven't fired a phaser since the Academy. You're safe now, Doctor. Join your people on the shuttle and head back to Zhang uh, Ha. Glad you're in one piece, Captain. It's clear up here for the moment. Transporters are standing by. Okay, beam us up. Another ad break. Looks like the Gorn have exercised the better part of valor, Captain. But the Zhang Ha's in rough shape. Captain McKinnon is hailing us now. Alright, just going to wait a few seconds while the advert goes before we start the next bit. Breaks are a pain in the neck. Fantastic. Looks like the Gordon have exercised the better part of Valor, Captain, but Shanghai is in rough shape there. Captain McKinnon's hailing us now. Good to hear from you. Thank you for saving my people. No thanks needed, Captain. What's your status? We're making repairs, but it'll be some time before our engines are back online. We'll head to your position. Maybe we can get you up, run, and up and running faster. We've got power boosted to the uh, 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 engines at the moment to be faster. I'm now going to balance the. We're picking up Gorn warp signatures on our long range sensors here. They're coming back! Helm, put us between Shanghai and the Gorn. So I'm now going to put more power to weapons. Turn so my broadside weaponry is open now. Only my aft weaponry is there. So I want to stay away from its mines, which you can see coming in here. Drove it off. Thanks for covering us. The Gorn would have made short work of my ship otherwise. I owe you one. Our repairs coming on. Slow but steady. Our warp drive is still disabled, but we're making progress. Uh, we have some spare supplies. Uh, we can beam over to assist you. Beaming Thanks. supplies. 
I hate to ask, but something's bothering me. We picked up strange energy readings before the attack. It could be nothing. Send your data to us. I'll have some of my crew take a look. Sending it now. I'd start with the debris of the Gorn ship that was destroyed. There might be a clue there. No, stay safe, Captain. So, again, we've got power, more power that's going to engines. really isn't a pretty ship, is it? I could have used uh, full impulse, but I didn't. Investigate the debris. Captain, the crew of the Shanghai were onto something. I ran a deep scan analysis of the Gorn debris, and the results are damn peculiar. Go on. Gorn ships aren't as tough as a Tellerite design. Our scaly friends know a thing or two about hull plate. Whoever fired this shot knew exactly where to hit them. Can you tell who did it? Not with the data we have now. But the science team just found another strange energy reading nearby. Okay, let's see what's out there. Helm, set a course. Go in. Balance the power up. Scan the energy. Picking up debris from the Gorn ship. And some trace elements of weapons grade plasma. Sir, I know who did this. It's the Romulans. Romulans, are you sure? I'll shave my eyebrows if I'm wrong. It's the Romulans, I'm sure of it. There's more bad news. The Gorn are coming back, weapons hot. Orders! Red alert. Tactical target the subsystems to disable them. Love that. Shaved by eyebrows. It's the same ship as before. Doesn't look like they're back at full strength, though. Any power to weapons. Again, I'm trying to stay at range. Good, got it. And we stayed out of the range of the mines. We thought we could share this space equally. Fellas. It's a nice little ship, yes, Your it is. Aggression against our research vessel tells me otherwise. Yours, yours is six fifty. Six fifty. In what sense? Ah, uh, uh, what, what's in what sense is your six fifty? Is that NCC six uh, six fifty or? I think the uh, the Pioneer class. Ah, uh, right. Hit forms. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, the, I, I like the Pioneer class, I do. It's not a pretty ship, but it's, I've loved how they've added it to the Starfleet Museum in the uh, latest jet, uh, version of Pickard. Right. Cap uh, The new one's not so good, okay. The older kit frame's way better. I'll take I'll bear that in mind. The older one was the is the one that you can uh, engineer re-engineer, isn't it, to get better uh, uh, better uh, modifiers. I you know what? I absolutely agree with you on that. That it, it is, I would love even if it wasn't a separate skin, if it was just a skin that you could apply to 
the Miranda class or uh, the, uh, the Maliski class, it would all that's needed. Modifier and I should imagine you have to do a lot of re-engineering to get to uh, the uh, kit performance three. Can you get kit performance four on it? I didn't even know. I wasn't aware you could get a fourth one on it. But or do you have to get it to epic to get kit performance four? Lots a trillion times. Mm. Yeah, not surprised. Epic first, right? Okay. At one point I might do that. At one point. I tend to mess around with the Borg uh, combat structure ones for a lot of my characters. Actually, that's not true. I tend to use the uh, the Borg combat uh, structure for my NPCs that I've epic or elited. Right, okay, let's move on. Thought we could share this space equally, Federation. Your unprovoked attack of aggression against our research vessel tells me otherwise. Captain, I have data that pr uh, proves the Romulans attacked that ship. I see no Romulans, only Federation ships. <laughs> Do you think me a fool, Captain? I'm sending the data that exonerates us. Most convenient, Captain. Yeah. But I am unconvinced. What else? Produce these Romulans that you clean destroyed our ship, or prepare to pay for your crimes. <laughs> well, I can understand that one. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on how many buffs you have. It depends on how many buffs. And I. I buy my uh, uh, my buff elites in in the exchange, not with uh, Zen. Uh, so I'm not using real money, and I only pick them up when they're cheap enough. Ten for space and ground and some fun bots. Yeah, yeah, it's fair enough. Ensign Scaven signals you. Captain, I've got an idea. If we can generate a charged particle burst, we might overload their cloak. Make it happen, Scaven. Reveal the Romulans. Yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely. quite the clever one, Captain. Too clever, I'm afraid. No one can know of our actions here today. Your death, our regret, is necessary. We'll see about that. To be honest, I've got... Uh, I have, in some senses, too many of my own tunes. And they've all got their own boss, but very few of those boss are elated. Uh, and only on, if you like, my major tunes. Right, you, uh, right, we'll see about that. Uh, let's take on these. Take on the Romulans. Back it into power to weapons. Give them some broadside to get extra beam weapons with their 25% extra power on that talk should take it out oh no it didn't there that one took it out though Yeah, I, I, I think 
think I've got a couple with. Um, I th well, actually, I think it's my tune that's got uh, the Starfleet Frontier Kit frame. Well fought, Federation. The hegemony will remember the Romulan treachery today and your assistance in exposing it. I propose we continue our joint surveys of Edrin IV under a mutual non aggression pact. The tactical one gives rally. Ah, right. Okay, yeah, I can see that would be useful. I tend to use the combat structures one, board combat structures, because it gives the extra firepower uh, with the uh, see every fifth e entrance with it, or, and uh, so you wind up having three turrets effectively. Heals and rests. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot to be said for rally call, but I think. I'm not sure I've got any on my two. I'll have on my bots. I'll have to think on that one. Yeah, makes sense. Perhaps one day we can explore together. So there was another player on the field. Nice work out there, Captain. We'll be heading for the closest starbase soon, but we'll be back to finish our work here, along with the Gorn, I'll wager. I think the Romulans will take a pass, though. And with good reason. Good luck, Captain. All decks have reported in. We're ready to disembark on your order. That gets me. It's we're ready to depart, not disembark. Disembark is getting off the ship. No worries. Uh, take us out, Hal. Warp three. Good to hear from you. So I've read Captain McKinnon's report. Sounds like things got a little rough on Edrin 4. Still, the diplomatic corps thinks your actions will make a difference in future talks with the Gorn. Well done. Okay. Stay Congratulations, safe. Congratulations, Lieutenant. 